Hi guys, welcome to Books and Barbells. This is our bikini vlog number two. Sorry it's a bit late. But yeah, I had an operation yesterday, just a minor operation on my legs, so wasn't actually in Bournemouth to do the vlog with Alex, but I'm back now and we are officially a week and a few days down. So this, this week's been relatively easy. I'm still feeling quite excited. I'm not really feeling the the tiredness or the ag. Carb cycling on my low days has made me a little bit more tired. I have noticed that, but other than that, it's been a good first week. So Alex has been that. having nightmares. Yes, I have been, I've had two <laughs> so far. Both been off on stage and I think the first time <laughs> I hadn't practiced any posing. <laughs> So we got up there and didn't have a clue what I was doing <laughs> and then the second time I fell off stage at the front in front of the judges So that was yeah, and I think I've woken up like crying Trauma both times yes. <laughs> So really excited for it and um, my diet's not you know too sort of hard at the moment so um, I'm kind of I am feeling nervous about when the diet you know <laughs> as it gets closer to the competition and when I'm gonna have to start cutting out my you know, my little treats yes, every now and again, yeah. Good. Um, I mean, I got a bit bored of my diet, so I changed it slightly. In the morning, I'll have like I'll have some porridge, my favourite, mm. um, with raspberries. Three um, mini Reese's, that's my guilty pleasure. Definitely <laughs> not going to be able to keep that as we get closer to prep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's usually my first meal, and then I'll have um, usually a fish with rice and then for meal three now I have um, tuna like a whole tin of tuna on a jacket potato um, with some protein cheese which is absolutely amazing protein get, cheese? yes I think in 100 grams of cheese there's like zero grams well it's like three grams of fat I think or something really minimal that's and 40 mad. grams of protein that's mad and it tastes really good it's a meal prep everything so for this diet I'm carb cycling um, carb cycling if you're not familiar with it is rotating between high carb days, low carb days and medium carb days. As we all know carbs are good for the body so carbs release energy, they help us with muscle growth, um, they keep us going throughout the day so they're essential. So to cut them out completely or to keep them very low isn't good for the body. Um, unfortunately though eating a lot of carbs constantly can inhibit fat loss or slow down fat loss or even sometimes weight gain, it can encourage weight gain. So by mixing high carb days and low carb days you're ultimately getting the best of both worlds so you're getting that energy, you're getting the muscle growth or in this case sustaining the muscle that you've got while still burning the fat on the low carb days so my carb day cycle from 160 grams of carbs right down to 30 grams of carbs um, in my cycle and yeah I find that that really works for me out of all the diets that I've tried um, reducing carbs completely or um, focusing purely on my calories, carb cycling seems to work the best for me. My calories at the moment are 1,700 and obviously carbs vary, proteins about 180 and my fats will vary depending on my carbs. So on my high carb days, my fats are only about 20 grams and on my low carb days, my fats go up to about 80 grams a day, which is quite a lot of fats, but I like peanut butter, so it works really well for me. Um, yeah. I would like to try carb cycling, but I don't think I really have the time to be messing around with changing my carbs daily. So I sort of have, every single day I have about 160, 170 grams of protein, and then it's about 120 grams of carbs, and then it's like 40 grams of fat. If you guys did want a carb cycle, my fitness power is really good if you upgrade, mm. because it separates each day. So on your high carb days, you can specify how many carbs, and on your lines, you each day exactly how many carbs so yeah my fitness pal great for carb cycling yeah and even even i use it i mean it's just so you know it's so, it's so helpful that you can just you know, so, like scan the barcode good to be aware yeah really good to be aware I know, some things are really sort of scary aren't they oh my god i was looking at nando's so i was oh ordering my. a nando's right mm -hmm. and whenever i previously whenever i go to nando's i order garlic bread because i think it's a piece of bread like this big i looked at the macros of the garlic bread at nando's it's like 600 calories for two tiny slices I like died. I was like, I'm never ever ordering garlic bread again. Mm. So guys, check your food out. It's good to be aware. You don't have to be pedantic about it or restrict yourself necessarily, but just knowing what you're eating, knowing what you're putting to your body will make such a big difference. Um, you know, just Oh yeah, and also I have a cheat meal each week. I know you don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't cheat meal. Alex does. Well, I usually have well <laughs> well a pizza, well, an ice cream, <laughs> a crap, a pancake. <laughs> Not bad. I, mean, no, I usually have I try and make it so like nachos, um, basically, and I use my protein cheese. 
So it's not really that bad. Exactly. And I serve sour cream. I have Greek yogurt. It tastes exactly the same on nachos. It's great. And really? then I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Really, any Mexican food. So I'm having sour cream. Yogurt. Swap it with Greek yogurt. That's a really good it's, idea. It's such a good, yeah, it's such a good Guys, tip. Alex's first tip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I follow more of it if it fits your macros approach. So I kind of, mm. if I fancy a tiny bit of chocolate, I'll fit it into my day's macros as opposed to banking mm. it all and then having it in one meal. All right, okay, okay. so for cardio, I keep a cardio diary. I know that sounds really gay, but um, <laughs> every, every time I do cardio, I write down what I've done and how many minutes I've done it for. So I time it, add it up, and every week I make sure it's the same. Next month, I will increase it by five minutes a week and see how my body reacts and if I need to increase it more I'll increase it more if I'm losing weight too fast I'll decrease it um, just depending on how I'm going with it I can't stand <laughs> cardio so I do um, at uni I do two spinning classes a week they're just half hour ones because I, I can't last for an hour yeah, keeping it low at the moment and then if I need to increase it near the comp if I find like my diet you know if I'm not losing enough fat then I can you know, bring in the cardio um, but it's sort of probably the last thing that I'm going to look at so I think we're both focusing more on our diet now mm -hmm. and then using cardio as a last resort as opposed to shooting up the cardio right from the beginning mm. because otherwise it'll get to comp and we'll be doing like two hours of cardio every day before the competition and that's just ridiculous. And yeah, you don't we're just going to take you through some of our posing practice. Obviously we're not the experts just yet but we'll show you what we've been practicing. guys make sure to give our instagram a follow our names are in the description below just to track our progress and don't forget to hit subscribe and we will see you next week see you next week